All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, Warachak Wadash, which Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Warachak Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in our truth and in our sincerity. And I basically want to get into this lesson about how, you know, pretty much a lot of our so-called loved ones, all right, they uh, really don't deserve to be around us, all right. And, um, you know, I was thinking about how, you know, brothers, you know, they uh, basically have their family members, all right, you know, whether it be, you know, their parents, could be their brother, sister, you know, children, wife, um, you know, cousins, you know, ex friends, right? You know, the, they basically turn, you know, their back on you, you know, and they do you dirty, all right? However it may be, because, you know, I've, you know, you hear about all these different stories, all right? You know, you'll hear about brothers getting kicked out of their house, all right, because of the truth. You know, from their parents, all right, you know, basically hey, their wives, they, they'll they leave them, okay? Hey, you'll have the children that don't want to talk to, um, you know, their, uh, you know, basically their father because they're in the truth, all right? And, you know, at the end of the day, these people actually really don't deserve to be around you. It's not even you, it's them, you know? These people are just wicked, all right? And you're righteous, all right? And you've got to remember that, look... You're on a high level, and they're on a very, very low level, all right? And that's why, um, you know what, let's get this real quick. That's why Yahawashai said this, all right? Book of John, give me one moment to get it. In the book of John, um, the Lord said basically to, um, uh, I believe it was the uh, these uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees, he said, look, you know, I'm from above, you're from beneath, all right? And, um, yeah, where is it at? Um, Salakia. Yeah, he's talking to the wicked scribes and the Pharisees at this moment, right? And, uh, pretty much this is what he said to them. He said, this is, uh, John chapter 8, verse 23, and it reads, And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, and I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. And you see, you know, we come in the same, you know, stead, all right, as Yahweh Shai, all right, you know, Lord willing, you know, we are those men, okay, and look, you know, we're not, you know, we're not of this world, okay, you know, we, we have a whole different, you know, mindset, all right, you know, we actually have a, a, a true standard that we're trying to live by, which is a righteous standard, which is a very, uh, uh, you know, high level standard because see this world you know they teach you that look whatever your f you know flesh you know wants to do all right you know whatever your lust are you know give into it all right do it you know you know do whatever it wants to you know do all right hey if you want to go commit adultery go right ahead if you want to go you know do some drugs you know go do that if you want to go kill somebody go do that that's what this society teaches you to do you know there is, is i'll say this too just make sure you don't get caught, okay? Because that's the whole thing with this society. Just don't get caught. Because if you get caught, that's when, you know, there might be some type of judgment that goes down, you know? All right? See, because if people didn't get caught, they wouldn't really care, you know? All right? But, you know, point being, though, is, you know, this that that's what this society teaches you to do. You see, the standard that we have is, Hey, control your flesh. Hey, you can't eat, you know, all these abominable foods. You, you can't eat that, you know. Yeah, you, you can't commit adultery. Hey, if that woman has a a, a, a man, hey, you got to stay away from her, okay? You know, it teaches you, you know, how to be a a, a true, uh, a, a, you know, brother, okay? It teaches you how to forgive, all right? It teaches you how to, you know, d you know uh, live with the earth, basically coexist with the earth, you know, so on and so forth. They these law, statutes, and commandments. Hey, it's a very it has a very high standard, okay. And there's times where your flesh is gonna wanna uh, go against it, hey. But you gotta put that um, flesh into subjection, all right. But point being though is, you know, 
we have this very high standard and see these people they they don't have a standard you know especially here in america all right it's it's bad worldwide but here in america we live in the worst land no one cares it's it's, it's a do as thou will society you know but i'm gonna read this again this is john 8 and 23 and he said unto them ye are from beneath i am from above ye are of this world i am not of this world okay so point being though is look hey we're hey we're above these people you know Hey, these people, they, and like I said, they could be so-called loved ones, loved ones, all right? They're on a low level and a low vibration, and that's why you can't really connect with them, okay? And ultimately, like I said, they don't really deserve you, all right? And let's go into this word deserve, all right? It's a, a deserve, okay? This is the etymology of it. It's from the mid-13th century, all right? And it's it says, to merit, be worthy of for qualities or actions, Okay, from an old French, deservir, which is deserve, be worthy of, earn, merit. So point being is they're not worthy of you. Okay? Hey, 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 hey man. Look, they don't, they, look, they're not worthy of you. Simple as that. If they want to go, if they want to, you know, uh, you know, turn their back on you, hey, let them do it, man. You know, actually, that's good. That's a good thing, man. You don't want these people to be around you anyways because, look, they don't have the same mind, all right? So as the scriptures say in Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together unless they be agreed? And look, that's a basically a rhetorical question. Of course they can. Hey, look, if look, man, I, I can't walk with somebody that wants to smoke, you know, uh, black and miles and do cocaine, man, okay? I can't walk with somebody that wants to, you know, uh, basically, you know, you know, uh, F every, you know, chick that he sees, even if she's got a man, okay? I can't be around somebody like that, you know? All right? Simple as that. And there's, you know, many more things. But point being, though, is, you know, those were just a few example, examples. But point being is, you know, hey, the righteous can't be amongst a, a, the wicked. And that's that, man. And look, a lot of they are so-called loved ones of this world. They are part of the wicked. They are part of the two-thirds club. Okay, which look, the two-thirds club has a lot of people in it. They basically take anybody. Hey, if they, anybody wants to be a part of the two-thirds club, they don't really have to, you know, have any real qualities, you know. As long as they're doing wickedness, they can join. You see, the thing about the one-third club, all right, that righteous club, you have to have a standard. You, you, you have to have particular qualities, all right, to enter into it. You have to do particular things, you know? So that's why only so many people are going to enter into that one-third club. And it's not a lot, okay? Yeah, it's still, you know, there's still going to be a you know decent amount of people who are going to, you know, get into that, so to speak. But is it, okay, compared to the two-thirds club, one-third club is very small. So point being, though, is, look, a lot of your, you know, like I said, loved ones, they're, they, they're not going to make it. They're going to get put to death, all right? They, they're going to separate themselves from you. And ultimately, look, that's a good thing. Get away from them. Get away, get away from them. If they don't help you, you know, on this walk, if they're not, you know, you know, uh, you know, on the same path as you, get the hell away from you, uh, from them, man. All right. But um, let me keep reading. Um, yeah. So point being is, is to be worthy of. All right. And let me get this, cause look. This is what the Lord's uh doing right now. Okay? And this is why the Lord puts you in particular situations. Alright. You know, when you're um you know, with your so called people of the world, you know, he puts you in these like weird arguments or they do something behind your back, you know. The Lord uh, uh puts them in that he basically puts a spirit on them to do that because he ultimately wants to separate you two. Because look. Not everybody's making it out of here, man. Okay? Not everybody's making it out of here. Look, the Lord's not going to come back with flowers and candies, all right, and just, you know, hug everybody, you know, you know, have his arms out, you know, and just say, you know, come here, my children, let me give you a hug. No, the Lord's coming back with the sword, and he's going to destroy a lot of people, okay? A lot of, and a lot of our loved ones are going to get that judgment. They're going to die, you know? But this is uh, Sirach chapter 18, verse 1. He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he. 
who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. All right, so it said all things obey his will. And you got to remember, there are some vessels of honor and some vessels of dishonor. Simple as that. You know, just remember that. And there's only a few vessels of honor. Okay, and with that being said, there's a lot of vessels of dishonor. And there's going to be a clash between those two vessels. Because why? Good is set against evil. Okay? Good is set against evil. Alright? A lot of our people are wicked. What does the scripture say? Amongst my people, I found wicked men. Okay? And that includes women too. Alright? Let me keep reading. For he is the king of all. By... His power dividing holy things among them from profane. All right? And the elect, they're holy. They're separate. They're not, they, they're not the same, okay, as, the, you know, the rest of this world. And the rest of this world is profane, meaning they're outside the temple, meaning they're not a part of the, uh, you know, that the, the, the righteous club, that one-third, that the, the election. Okay? All right? So, like I said, a lot of it... it these people that we know, like I said, these so-called loved ones, hey, they do a lot of uh, uh you know dirty things to you, be, you know, because basically, hey, they're not you know, they're not hey, they're not you know supposed to make it. They're supposed to you know die, man. Okay, the Lord's making that separation right now. All right, you know, and and like I said, it's a good thing, man, when you have these people. You know, leave your company. It's a good thing. It's much needed. And I'll say this: once you, once they get out of your life, you'll notice that that toxic energy, all right, has been hindering you. It's been hindering hindering you from serving the Lord to the best of your ability. It's been you know hindering you from uh, improving, okay, in all aspects, whether it be all right, reading, you know, the you know the uh, you know the scriptures, you listening to videos, you know, you working out. You know, you, you you being just disciplined in your household, or right, whatever it may be. You'll notice these things once they're gone. Yeah, you 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 start doing a lot better. All right, but uh, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm gonna end this lesson, and uh, hopefully, this was an edifying lesson. And just, oh yeah, and I'll say this. Hey, remember, you know, hey, you brothers out there, remember, you are the prize. Okay, you are the prize. No matter what, hey, look, they, 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 these people can see you as a, you know, a loser, you know, uh, you know, a nobody, okay, whatever they want to say about you, they they can look at you as just, you know, oh, that's just, you know, you know, my my son, my brother, or oh, the, you know, that's just, you know, uh, you know, whatever, I, I don't know, whatever, whatever they say about you, right? Look, man, remember, you're special in the, in the, in the uh, eyes of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Maybe they look. These people can't see it, hey, but the Lord, he, he knows, all right? And see, at the end of the day, when, you know, this judgment come, you know, comes down and, you know, everyone's getting, you know, a basically that wicked reward, you know, that destruction, and they see us, you know, you know being a, a protected, shielded, you know, from all these evils that are happening around, then as, as the scriptures say in 2nd Ezra, then they're going to know whom my chosen are. At the end of the day, these people are going to know that, this is a man of the Lord. This is a this is a man of the Lord. This is somebody that I should have listened to, but I didn't. And now I'm paying for it. Now I'm paying for it. All right, but pretty much that's it. You know, I'm going to end the lesson. You know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers. Shalom.